These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. Julie, from the moment we met, I knew you were someone who was going to be very special to me. But looking back, I couldn't have known just how much. You have changed my life by consistently inspiring me to be a better man every day more than the last. James 1.16 says, Every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of light who does not change like shifting shadows. It is very clear you are an answer to my prayers, a gift from God. I love you and know that this love is from God, and I want nothing more than to be your husband so that we can spend our lives growing and serving God together. I know an excellent wife is far more precious than any jewel or treasure, so I promise to always keep you safe and to protect you from the evils of this world. I vow to always be slow to anger and quick to listen. I promise you my deepest love, my fullest devotion, and tenderest care. I will honor and cherish you always. I vow to lead you and guide you as Christ leads me. I am determined to be a strong spiritual leader in our home through good and bad times. I promise to accept all of who you are. I will love you for your perfections and imperfections. I will not change you. I vow to do everything in love, centering God as the primary foundation of our relationship, to provide us with his guidance, love, and grace. I promise to support you, always doing what I can to elevate you to your goals and aspirations. If you stumble and fall, I will be there to pick you up. I will hold you through trying times, shielding you from unnecessary pain, and will praise you in your successes. In sickness and in health, I will be your rock to ground you, your leader to guide you, and your friend to love you. I am beyond blessed to be standing here today in front of our friends and family. With God as my witness, Julie, I vow to be your loving, faithful husband till death do us part. Jordan, it is hard to find the words to summarize the years I have spent loving you. Just when I think I cannot love you more, I always do. There was a time when I was praying for exactly what I have now. You bring me much joy, laughter, and peace. You are kind, loving, and you are very patient. I feel as though God has blessed me abundantly by giving me a home of my very own with you. You make me feel very loved and very important. You always push me to see the positives in all situations and all people. Thank you for being my best friend. Thank you for forgiving me for my mistakes and loving me wholeheartedly through them. Thank you for growing with me and putting God first in the times it has mattered the most. When I look towards my future now, I cannot imagine it without you in it. The Lord has somehow used our lowest points to bring us closer together and most importantly, closer to Him. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that all things work together for good for them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. With this in mind, we can get through the good and the bad, trusting God, and each other to help build our character. Jordan, you have always accepted me for who I am, and I am proud of how we have shown unity and strength in growing together. You pursued me relentlessly from the moment we met when I first triaged you. <laughs> now, together we pursue the Lord and the hope of raising a family together. I love the way the Lord has opened doors and made for us to be with one another. I vow to love and honor you always. I vow to be faithful and to submit to your God-given position as the head of our household and to support your leadership role in my life and the leadership role in the lives of others. I will pray for you, take care of you, and forgive you when you make mistakes, just as Jesus has forgiven me for mine. I vow to continue to put the Lord first at the center of our relationship and trust in Him and His timing. He has proven to be so faithful. We have been given so much and I vow to never take it for granted. In front of our closest family and friends, I vow to love and cherish you in sickness and in health through the highest peaks and the deepest valleys until death do us part. About a year into the relationship, something had happened that stuck with me forever. Julie was working nights and she really wanted a milkshake. <laughs> um, it was midnight and Jordan said he was going to leave, get her a milkshake, stay at her place and make her uh, breakfast when she came home from work. I told him, man, this girl really has you putting in the work. And he said, Chloe, when you meet the right person, it doesn't feel like work. It's such a privilege to be the one who gets to do anything for her. This is the person I would do anything for and have a genuine smile on my face doing it. Without further ado, it is with my pleasure that I would like to announce, for the first time, Mr. and Mr. Mrs. Speronis. Everybody. Yeah.